Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by complimenting the government of Azerbaijan for convening the second Baku Forum on Sustainable Development, and as well by expressing my thanks for your gracious invitation to address this esteemed high-level gathering today. As we transit the midway point of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the enormity of the challenge before us to fulfill the promise of our blueprint by 2030 becomes undeniably evident. I therefore take this opportunity to applaud this forum for its dedicated mission of tackling an issue that is at the very core of each of the challenges we face, that is, the financial investment required to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. UNCTAD estimates that developing countries now require an annual investment of four trillion US dollars to fulfill the SDGs, representing a dramatic surge from the 2.5 trillion required when the goals were established in 2015. Bridging this staggering financial gap will require us to strategically invest in the key sectors that are crucial to realizing the SDGs, from clean water and sanitation to universal accessibility, to quality education, food security, and good health. Excellencies, although these areas undeniably form the bedrock of SDGs achievement, it is nevertheless disconcerting that international investments in agri-food sectors have dwindled since 2015, thereby undermining global food security. Food security and the inputs required to achieve it deserves our continuous attention. And you can rest assured that this is one of the priorities that I intend to champion throughout my presidency of the General Assembly. In the world of sustainable finance, green bonds, social bonds, and ESG funds have seen tremendous growth. Yet, for these funds to be genuinely sustainable and to accrue benefits for all, they must be directed towards the world's poorest and most vulnerable communities, fostering infrastructure development, tackling inequalities, and ensuring access to clean water, renewable energy, and healthcare. International commitments have been made and reaffirmed, as recently evidenced also by the SDG Summit and the High Level Dialogue on Financing for Development. In outcome, both these events build upon the Addis Ababa Action Agenda and further emphasize the significance of developed countries supporting capacity building and in developing nations through official development assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, in our unrelenting pursuit of resource mobilization for the SDGs from both domestic and external sources, innovative solutions have come to the forefront and must be fully utilized. Among these, we find debt swaps tailored to the SDGs, blended financing, and the urgently needed reform of the global international financial architecture to better address and support the peculiar needs and development dynamics of the most vulnerable countries. I underscore this last point in particular, for it has become a matter of real urgency. The existing international financial system is steeped in historical inequities. Regrettably, the key organizations that constitute the bastions of that system play an undeniable role in perpetuating these disparities, thereby raising formidable barriers that constrain the capacity of developing countries to invest in sustainable development. Excellencies, multilateral development banks, some of which are represented at this forum, must substantively improve access 
to concessional financing, while the international community at large must collaborate to secure the funds necessary to achieve the SDGs by 2030. As I conclude, I wish to emphasize that urgent action is essential to reach the most vulnerable, including in those countries in special situations, the least developed countries, the landlocked countries, and the small island developing states. Effective implementation, real commitment to the means of implementation, and timely use of available modalities are crucial steps on our journey to a more just, sustainable, and equitable future. We must stand together in solidarity in our pursuit of the SDGs and to give effect meaningfully to our ideal of leaving no one behind. The time for action is now, not tomorrow, not next year, now. The future of our planet and our people hinge on our collective dedication to this critical mission of transformation and survival. Thank you.